Now, yep. but the amazing thing is people don't know the solar eclipse is happening on the very same day as the original plagues of the three days of darkness began. No. Yes. Yes. Okay. It's oh, on okay, the okay. very same day. This one. This. This. This one. We're this going to April. Have. April eighth is the very day of the three days of darkness. Plagues began in the in original the land of Exodus. Egypt. Yes. Unbelievable. Is this a warning? Then is God? It's going. <laughs> we got the Nineveh and the Jonah towns going through. But I mean, is what kind of warning is this? Great question. Here's the thing. In Genesis one fourteen, God declared. Yep. The sun and the moon were for signs. Right. The only signs they can give is eclipses. All right. And the nice thing about eclipses, no false prophet can manipulate it. No. Okay. And they speak to every language, tribe, nation, and tongue. Yep. They don't need to be translated. Nope. Solar eclipse means judgment is coming upon a nation. Lunar eclipse refers to judgment coming upon Israel. Okay. Now, get a load of this. There has only been, since we become a nation in 1776, there has only been eight total solar eclipses that have completely crossed the United States. I'm not talking about one that just clips California or Florida. I'm talking that traverses the whole United States horizontally or vertically. There's only been eight since we became a nation. Wow. And guess when they occurred? Two of them occurred during the Revolutionary War. Three of them occurred during the Civil War. Two of them occurred during the Vietnam War. Are we getting a hint of what this oh, means? Oh, no. And so now in the 2000s, there was 2017, and now this one in 2024, and it's like a bullseye forms an X right over the United States. Now, here's what's amazing. Of those eight, only one which was the one seven years ago, it only crossed the United States and no other country. The other ones crossed Mexico and Canada and U.S. or something right. like that. But the United States was singled out with Just the one, one seven years ago. Yes. Once. Wow. And now we have April 8th on Nissan 1. That Nissan 1 is the same day the glory of God fell. It's the same day of the inauguration ceremony of Moses' tabernacle. Okay, this is when this eclipse crosses these two places in the United States, and it's definitely God wants to communicate with us. People have to understand God wants to communicate. These eclipses are communications directly from God warning us of what's coming. I mean, this is, without a question, a biblical sign. I was telling people yeah. uh, earlier that, you know, you got the solar eclipses. That's God made. You, when you have a moon, a lunar eclipse or a blood moon that you were yep. so famous in bringing forward, that's a God sign. The There's two different types of locusts coming. You know, we know that. Yep. You know, there's all, all of these signs that are coming right now are all God signs. They're not man-made, not no. man-manipulated. It right. isn't Y2K. Right. Okay. It's not the mind calendar. Right. It's not Harold Camping <laughs> predicting the rapture, right. all of which exactly. man made and failed. These yes. are God's signs. You can't run from these. These are biblical, right? Ex that's the whole point. See, the problem is the church is on the wrong calendar because our regular calendar is based only on the sun. That's the, wrong. And, that's wrong. And I, Iran uses the same calendar we do. Okay. Then you have the Muslim calendar, which is only based on the moon. Now they're both scientifically accurate, but they're not the one God uses. Like if I'm meeting with you, we have a two or three hour time difference. Right. If we're going to meet, we got to agree on what time. Right. God is the master of time. And if you're a slave, who controls your time? The master. The master he tells you does. when to go to bed, when to get up, when to do this. God, the first commandment. Most people don't realize, you know, the very first commandment wasn't given on Mount Sinai. The very first commandment was given in Egypt, and it was get on my calendar. Nisan wow. 1 is the first day. He wants his people on his calendar. Well, in Genesis 1.14, it says, let them determine the times. Not let the sun, not let the moon. But the reason why, you can only have a solar eclipse on a new moon. You can only have a lunar eclipse that's on a true. full moon. That's so true. So that's why he says, okay, your months are based on the new moon. 
This is where I can communicate with you. Yep. Okay. Passover is a goat on a full moon. So I can yep. communicate with you. Because it's the appointed times, appointed times. Exactly. It, 